Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again, seeing who we might get, seeing who we might get. We're going to get Blue Baby the Tainted Variety and I'm going to do um, a Greedier run. Because we got a new mod, the new mod is um, new special rooms for Greedier mode. Basically, it just adds the ability, as you just saw there. You're not always going to get a curse room anymore. You're actually going to get some other room types, which is a really, really interesting change. And I'm... Actually, I was going to hold R, but we've got a bit of a streak going. I want to try and get to a 10 streak. I was going to hold R, I'll be honest, because this is just not... It's just not what I wanted, but... Do you know what? I'll at least give this a go. Dude, can you... I feel like this guy's going to, like, burst into, like, a million tears when I kill him. Um, I really don't know. But yeah, more special runes. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, unfortunately an item that I have to say is pretty bad. I do think that Tainted Blue Baby might actually end up being a pretty good character for Greedier mode. Because we can get bombs more often than normal. And the poops are going to hang around. I, I just, I feel like... There's a lot of reason this could end up being pretty, pretty good. Of course, obviously, we had a bit of a bad start with that item there. We'll see if we can buy a key um, coming up. But yeah, um, as for the question of the day today, I've got kind of an interesting one that just kind of popped into my head. What's something that you do that you really hate? What's something like you notice about yourself that you do that you really don't like? For me, mine's basically, mine's kind of weird. I don't know how many people know this. Some people that watch will probably already know, but I have a... I kind of have dyslexia. So basically, I think, I'm, I'm fairly sure, I'm fairly sure I have dyslexia, but I've never been officially diagnosed with it. I have had one screening and they said that I had traits, but they never actually said that I had it. Um, so that's kind of a, a weird one, but yeah, I definitely feel like I do have it. And one thing that I do all the time that I really, really hate, especially like in reference to having or being somewhat dyslexic, is, um, oh god, I accidentally hurt myself there by you picking up a explosive poop. That was a really stupid idea, actually, wasn't it? Let's grab that. Troll bombs dealt with most of that for us. There you go. Um, yeah, one thing that I do that, that I, that's really, really annoying, um, plus three look, not really actually that good, is I quite often, um, I, I forget grammar a lot is one, but that, that's kind of here or there. This is an interesting item. I've had it before where it's kind of broke the game. And as you can see, it's not particularly high fire rate, but we can we can kind of remedy that. Um, whoa, it's this dude. I was, was... Ah! Why'd you jump from that angle, you goober? That wasn't what I expected at all. Um, what's, what I'll do quite often in terms of, like, grammar is I'll put... I, I'll go to write the word don't or shouldn't. Or anything with an NT on the end, any like abbreviated word that that is like the opposite, and I'll forget to write the NT, which, or I'll do it the other way around and add an NT when there isn't supposed to be one, which, as you can probably imagine, creates a lot of awkward situations in which I, like, I completely change the meaning of a sentence by accident, um, because I don't, um, this is actually going to be fairly easy, I think. Do not get hit by the champion. God damn it. What did I just say? What did I just say? I'm stupid. Devil deal. I don't think we're going to go for that. Item wise, let's check. Uh, I kind of need the HP, I'll be honest. The look upgrade doesn't do much for us. Um, let's, uh, let's just re-roll. See what we get. The D6 is probably a good shout, to be honest. We'll take the D6. Health! Health is leaving a lot to be desired here. But yeah, I gotta say, I do it all the time, and it's really frustrating, because yeah, it just completely changes the context of what I'm trying to say from something that, like... Like, it it, it, it completely ruins sentences for me, because I'll say to someone, oh no, I don't do that, and I'll just put do. <laughs> and they're like, um... What? Oh, we got a dice room here as well. This is, this is interesting. Of course, it does require a key, which is a little bit of a high cost for us. Um, I honestly think we need that. <laughs> as, as terrible as that is, I think we do need that. Yeah, I want to I get the creep up there. 
where it's going to hit enemies as they spawn in, which is going to be kind of nice. I really need a fire rate bonus. That's something I really need. I am leaving some creep on the floor from my shots here, because the fever shot um, tends to, it, like, it encompasses a few different types of shots, as you can probably tell. So we are getting multiple bonuses from it. Um, oh, I was really confused what was happening there. Oh, dude! The explosions! I, I swear to God, blue baby explosions are the worst thing ever. Someone make a mod to remove them. <laughs> no, probably don't. That's a, it's kind of a balancing factor for him, but it is still really frustrating. I hurt myself with it all the damn time. Okay. I don't know. I, th I feel like I've screwed myself by picking up Fever here. Like, it's, it's decent, but got diggity damn is our fire rate just awful like the the amount of fire rate down you get for this is not really worth it in my opinion i'm really struggling here oh i like i tried to fire at that guy and i just couldn't we might have an l here honestly i'm gonna say we probably will have an l here Try and lead them into this Kree. More Kree. The creep is insane. We get fire mine shots for a little here. I just... I keep forgetting about it. There's just gas all over the place that I can't see. Or, or don't notice. It's just, it's leading to some, some bad juju, bad energy. Like, I almost, I threw that one there and I probably shouldn't have done. There's just gas all over the middle of the room now. I'm at half a heart at the minute, so. Oh, okay, that guy spawned on me. Okay, let's do that again. This time we're not going to take fever if it comes up, because that was terrible. We got a library here, that's pretty good. Um, we get some HP as well. I'll just take that, I guess. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, the streak is dead again. Greedier mode, regardless of my mod, is always going to be tricky. You go down there. Um, Yeah, let's just carry on with the room. Sadly, two pretty bad starts in terms of the items that we got. Nothing really of, of high value there, but... I'm not going to complain. Let's just be happy. I hope I get more of these uh, poop flies. There you go. Because more flies we can create, the better. Especially because we can just, like lob them wherever and just get an army of flies being created on the regular. But for this um, game mode specifically, that's a really, really, really good one to have. Can't believe I got hit by that. You did not die when I thought you would. Another one. Now we got lots and lots of flies. But yeah, I, I, is there any anything else for you guys that you have like that, where it's just something that you constantly notice yourself doing? Another thing is as well, uh, that I notice myself doing a lot, oh, did I destroy all of those poops? Okay, no, I destroyed one. That's fine. I can deal with one. Okay. Flies, save me. Thank you. Oh, another one of you, hello. Managed to actually get a bomb on that guy that time. Okay. This has gone reasonably well here. We can go for Devil Deal as well, actually. Wow, we've got so many flies in the, his house. Okay, that was an explosion that actually kind of worked out for us. Bunch of bombs here. God damn. Scary, scary. Hold that. Oh, wait. I used the poop slip by accident there. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, um... I think we're good to leave this room now. I'm probably going to buy two keys here, to be honest. Um, also, we can pop that and then pop that. Probably just could have just moved those barrels, but against non-boss enemies, that's really good. Okay, nice. Really, really good. Hey, oh, that's really nice. We can go in here. We get the Book of Belial, which is actually fantastic. We get the Unknown card, the Magician... And the chariot. Okay, let's go with the magician. This is some good stuff, actually. This is some good stuff. Cursed mushroom. Upon use, gives 
all the enemies in the room uh, a curse debuff. Curse enemies will take damage and the curse will last for... Now, I just got this book, but that seems really interesting. I don't know, though, actually. I don't know what's better, because... Upon use gives all items in the room a debuff. The case will take damage and it'll last for 18 seconds. Like, I don't know. I feel like the, I feel like the book we've got now is actually going to be more useful. Also, uh, I'll take this. Give me a fire rate up and I'll grab that. Do extra there. Uh, we might as well push these over and see if we can destroy a few of these. See if it gives us anything. Spiders. Nothing. And we'll get gone. All in all, that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Um, We could maybe get that chest, but it's a little far away. But yeah, as, as I was going to say, sorry. An another one that I always find um, that I do. Glitter bombs isn't really anything great for us. Hmm... A sprinkler's probably better at this point. And I'll take Cracker Jacks because I would like a good trinket. That is a really good trinket, although I don't know if we actually pick any of the coins up. So this might not work. It, it depends how the mod works. If it teleports them straight to us, then that will work. Oh, golden chest again. God damn. So let's put that there. Okay. Fight out one of them. Put that down there. Probably should have put that down straight away, actually. I missed a miss, little bit of a missed opportunity there. Whoa, that. That fella came out at lightning speed. Oh, my God. I'm getting hit so much. Oh, and I just threw the wrong poop at you. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm bad at this game, man. I'm, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time focusing. I keep trying to tell the story, but I'm, I'm failing. Also, didn't didn't use this one. I should have. Could use that a long while ago. Yeah, um, I, I I noticed that I constantly like I don't do all, I, like it's hard for me to like notice I'm doing it. I don't really do it on purpose, but I find myself like if people talk slowly or if people like take a lot of pauses when they're talking, I tend to finish their sentences a lot, like because I know what they're about to say, and it's like for me. It seems fine. From my end, it seems like, oh, it's just getting to the end of the conversation quicker. It's just clearing up what they were going to say anyway, sort of thing. But for them, it depends on the person, but I feel like that could get really annoying. <laughs> so I kind of, like, worry about it. I kind of worry that I'm, like, really frustrating people by doing it. I mean, I might not be. It might be It might be something that's, like, it, like they've got it right on the tip of their tongue and they just, like, can't quite think of the word and so it helps. Well, I don't know. It depends on the person, really. So I tried my best to like suppress the need to do it whenever I can, but it does it does happen quite a lot, unfortunately. There's a lot of poops on the floor here. Holy shit! Why is there so many poops on the floor? What's going on? I think it's the poop slick on the floor. Whenever an enemy is in that, it just spawns a ton of the, the poop things on the floor. So now let's let's get a good um, let's get a good lineup. We'll hold a bomb, throw that, throw that, throw that, throw that. Get rid of those. Okay, so we got one of those. Not great. That's a decent lineup. Why not? Good enough. Right, back through here. Check our uh, deal here. Not terrible. Not terrible. But yeah, it does look like our trinket doesn't work, unfortunately. It does just give us the money directly. Which is a shame. Um, we could get a golden chest here. Soul heart. Let's buy a soul heart. Let's buy two soul hearts. Let's try and get a reroll going, which unfortunately I did not. 4.5 volt? Is that better? Hmm. I'm going to say yes it is. It might not be, but I'm going to say yes it is. Okay. And down we go. 
Oh, hello. That's that's really nice. A nice bit of extra money. Ah, not a single soul heart, though. So it's still good to have this trinket. It just doesn't work as good as it would de default. But I still like having the auto pickup mod on because it makes me not want to D20 and <laughs> break the game. Ooh, this could be interesting. Sadly, we don't have Herming anymore. Another HP up again. I items aren't particularly amazing, I'll be honest. This time, more. More golden chests. I mean... Ah, oh, let's just take that. That's really good. Okay. So let's see how this goes. So we'll pop this down. I'll pop you over here. It seems that uh, my astral project projection thing is triggering from um, from my sprinkler firing, not just from me firing, which is nice, because that means it should trigger a lot more. Um, it should trigger a lot, lot more once we get more sprinklers down. Okay, Trinity Shield there, saving my ass. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. That guy's speeding along. Oh, my God. I think I exploded there. Yeah, so I think I think right now having 4.5 volt isn't a positive. I think we're losing charges, but I think later down the line it's gonna be a positive, especially for the boss. Especially for the boss. Let's do a line of that there. That might help a lot. Yeah, because we are getting multiple charges in some ways more than others, sort of thing. It's it's a bit of a give and a take. Bit of a give and a take. But yeah, it's, it's always it's always kind of annoying when you discover like because a lot of the time with those little things you don't really realize it until you either see a recording of yourself or like someone points it out to you. It's something that you like you don't really clock onto. But when you do, it's really really hard to like sort of exist once you know it. Especially if it's a, if it's a particularly bad one or one that you perceive to be a particularly bad one. Dude, that was a bit rude. Uh, one that you perceive to be a particularly bad one, because you, like you constantly notice it and you find it really hard to stop, and it's just an absolute pain. It really is. I hope if any of you have one of those, it's not one that's uh, that's too bad, because yeah, they can they can be pretty rough. Okay, Angel, you have spawned in what I would consider just a terrible spot for yourself here. Whoa, 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 whoa! This guy's eternal. I did not realize that. The Eternal skin thing is, is really annoying. I wish Eternal just took precedent all the time. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much by this guy. I thought this guy would be like a super easy kill, but he is being very much not so that. Like, I've got so many sprinklers about. What are they doing? Yeah, I really wish Eternal skins would just take precedent all the time and always show the Eternal skin first. I'm not sure if there's a way to do that. Oh, really? You gave me a devil deal? Okay, that... I'll accept that. And I'll take that too, actually. Okay. I'm going to take a gamble here. It's a pretty big gamble. And I'm going to open both of these chests. Okay, so one of them I did get paid back for. And I don't know... What that, uh, what that trinket does and if it's going to be any use to us in this mode. Trinity Shield is providing a lot of benefit, I will say that. While held, certain special rooms will always contain a beggar. Yeah, that doesn't seem particularly useful at all. I mean, I'm going to take it because it, it it is technically more useful than that other thing, knowing we can't get anything from the coins. Um, And let's do a reroll here to try and get something a bit better. Raw liver or flatstone? Raw liver's like, it's good, but it's just not good enough. That's good. That We need, we need fire rate. I'll take that. And then apparently there's another penny in here. We can buy a key next floor. That's good. Okay. On our way. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Can we... Can we bomb any of this? No, we cannot. Let's do that. Hold that. Throw that. Throw that. I did not do this in the right order, but it's going to have to be what it is. Really? That didn't work? Okay, no, that worked. Okay, good. That was really nice. Okay, down we go. Extra 10 cent there's super nice for the next shop. This time we got another library. Stars align as well. We got a planetarium. 
Good stuff. And we got Venus. Uh, we're going to have to give this guy money to get it. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Nice. One moment. My alarm's going off. Tell me to upload my video. I'll do it in a second. I'll do it in a second. Right, what we got here? Oh, my God. Our items have been trashy much trash trash with a steaming pile of trash on top. Lumber coal's decent enough. Battered mushroom's pretty good. That's really nice, too. And I was supposed to buy a key. Oh, well. We'll get it next time. Okay. Let's plop that down. Venus is going to be really nice here. Enemies that chase are going to be nowhere near as much of an issue. And by nowhere near, I mean literally not an issue whatsoever. It still baffles me that people consider Venus a bad planetarium item. It's incredible. I had a key drop there, did I? Oh no, there's a nickel over there. That's an inconvenient place for a nickel. Okay, there I got it. Okay, keep our flies going. Yeah, Venus, you are the best. I wonder as well if anyone will make uh, eternal versions of uh, modded enemies at any point. I don't know if it'll get official support from the actual mod creator, but I wonder if modders can make support within their own mods, because that'd be interesting to see. It's not something that's required by any means, but it would be kind of interesting if it if it was added. Really? Kind of BS. God, I love Sprinkler in uh, Greedbird. It's so fun. I love the fact that I can just face tank these enemies as well. Keep this party going. Oh, ho, ho, you spawned on the creep, didn't you, my ladder? A bad idea for you. Oh, and these, these re-sprites as well. I can't stop gushing over them. They're so good. Every time I see one, I'm just so impressed with them. Damn, we putting putting the poop slick like in both these locations is so unbelievably valuable. Because the I gotta say that they're almost not 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 definitely, but they're almost guaranteed to um, sit on one of them when they spawn. There was a luck penny somewhere about. I don't know where that went. It's over there, okay. Devil deal again, of course, because I did take a devil deal last floor. Unfortunately, that's not one that we're going to want. We did get a lot of money out of that, though, so we definitely want to buy that. We definitely want to buy that. That I don't care about so much. I'll just take the key, and we'll be on our way. Excuse me? What's... Why is this just a black cube? Um, I feel like maybe I installed a mod wrong here, because that is not correct. I mean, it's not a good item either, but... Black cube, go! <laughs> I definitely got a mod that resprites the fly items, so... It's definitely that mod that's causing the issue, but I don't know why it's causing that issue uh, specifically. That's a, that's a little bit weird. Ooh, we got an eternal boss trap room this time around, which is... A curse room once I enter it? Are you okay, game? That wasn't the deal. <laughs> Excuse me? That wasn't the deal at all. It was like, a tunnel boss trap room. Psych. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, Whirling Leech is decent. It's not amazing. And that's also the same. Right, so let's put this down here. Let's try to put that down. Instantly destroyed it. Literally instantly destroyed it. Obviously didn't mean to destroy it there, if you were wondering. Was not my plan. God, this this dude, this dude, I can't kill him. And he's putting creep down everywhere. It's really frustrating. Okay, we got him, we got him. We need to get some um, thingies down here. Oh, you exploded all of those on top of myself. Why am I like this? At least I got a bunch of leeches about. This is a struggle, boss. I don't know. It's, it, I'm having a hard time. That was a good bomb, though, that. A good bomb. Yeah, I don't know. I hope people are enjoying the, uh, the Greed Mode videos a decent amount. Because I am enjoying it. Like, we have to do it for the unlocks anyways. And yeah, I'm having a, a pretty good time with it, I'll be honest. Especially on the tainted characters. It's just something I haven't done, really. 
with all the new mods that we've got that add to it, it just, it feels so much more interesting to be playing it. So much more interesting. I kind of wish that my original series, these mods were out or were officially supported, because this isn't really mixes things up in a great way. God, I'm actually getting really annoyed at the astral projection thing. Every time I throw a poop, it's just like, bye. But could you not, please? Okay. Oh, that guy's not dead. I thought he was doing his death animation. I was incorrect. Another devil deal. Unlikely I'll get anything from this. Both of those are good. Both of those are good, although actually no, Damocles is kind of terrible, because we don't really get anything from it. I'll take that. Um, throw that. Nice. And we got, yeah, we're definitely, that, that fly item thing is definitely um, a little buggered. Not quite sure what I did to um, mess that up so much, but I'll, I'll go in there and have a little look-see. I'm, I'm guessing I just have two mods that are conflicting and it doesn't know which one to pick. And it's having a hard time deciding. Are we ready for the boss? I think because of the sprinklers we have, yes, but otherwise, no. Wow, what a great placed fire. Red candle. I probably want 9 volt. I think 9 volt's a good one to grab. Astral Projection. I'm loving it. Is that what it's called? It might not even be called Astral Projection. It's called something along those lines. I remember it saying Astral something or other. I think Astral Projection is another item, isn't it? A card? Hello? Do you know what? Sun card right now. Seems like a good use of that. Oh god, these guys are fast. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. But yeah, you can see now, 4.5 volts really proving to be quite useful. We're getting a lot of charges very quickly. The Emperor? Does that do anything for us in Greed Mode? Is, that, is there even a reason that can drop? Okay. One of them there. I don't think there's a limit on this Astral thing. Like, it seems to be able to just fire as many as it wants. Also, where's the heart that goes with this guy? Chilling in the corner. Throw that over towards the gas. Just to get it out the way so I don't hurt myself with it more than anything, I'll be honest. Ooh, we got the um, Apple of Pride. Stat upgrade until we get hit. I mean, I'll just pop it. There's a good chance I get hit pretty, pretty darn quickly. But... I might as well pop it and see how far it can take me. Because at least for the short time, it's going to be useful. Okay, one boss dealt with. Another boss dealt with. Probably shouldn't be putting this many sprinklers down, to be honest. Oh, you look really cool. You also look quite dead. We've got a hand coming down soon. Dude, as if that hit me. I think they are so BS. Okay. Take a look here. We got... Enemies that come close become crippled. Your tears can also cripple them. They lose the speed over time. Eh. For the health that it would require, that's quite expensive, actually. Right, and then here, we want to take 9 volt. And then there, we don't want anything. Okay, I think we're good to go. Kind of a speedy run. We've got some interesting stuff going on, though. Really interesting stuff on this run. Uh, obviously, Sprinkler being number one. I like it. I think it's been good stuff. I always forget about this room. Why does this room even exist? What was the point in it? Is it just to get a little bit extra money? Oh, more luck is good. Do we have anything luck-based? I don't even know if we do. Okay. Put that down. Yeah, it, 9 volt does work. I always forget if 9 volt works with 4.5 volt. It most certainly does. We are going to get a lot, and I mean a lot of sprinklers here. So, obviously, we'd have to actually make sure we don't get hit, because I've already been hit once, and it was a pretty, pretty dumb hit.
We are going to be getting poops on the regular as well. I kind of also need to make sure to somewhat strategically place them around so that I actually get good value out of them. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have all of these down here, but he does move around a lot, so... Astral Projection, stop destroying my fly poops. They're so valuable, and you just keep getting rid of them. Like, look at how fast that charged then. We got three three bars of the charge. Well, two bars of the charge so quickly. There's another one. Oh, we got a holy poop down here. I, th I, th I think the holy poop is actually kind of useless because it's going to get destroyed immediately. Yeah. It had potential, but yeah. Ooh, I'm curious to see what happens when he runs over the um, reflected coin. I'm curious to see if that, that, that creates a bug. I have a feeling it will. Oh, no, no. He just picked it up. I don't know. I had a feeling that was going to bug out. Yeah. The the astral thing is going, is going wild. It's going absolutely crazy. I wish it didn't destroy poops. <laughs> it's depressing me that it destroys poops. We have an insane amount of sprinklers. It's kind of funny how, like, we're getting so much of our damage from the sprinklers, but not from the actual damage the sprinklers are dealing. They're just causing us to fire out all these arrows of, like, on their own, pretty low damage. But when we're firing out, like, three of them a second, they're pretty insane. It's actually, ins like, it's craziness. We've got, like, a stack of sprinklers up here. Just an insane amount of them. I think we I think we've got this one. I think we've got this one. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know the commentary wasn't um as um like story heavy today. We're a bit more focused on the Isaac run, but I think greed modes are gonna be like that a little more often. I like to have greed modes thrown in sprinkled in every now and again either way. Just because they could showcase some cool stuff. I got a new mod for it, so I really want to show that off. We do have another new mod on the regular runs, uh, a new type of challenge room, which I'm really interested to show off with some unique bosses, some like new bosses to the game. Really, really want to show that one off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one regardless. And yeah, like I said, do let me know of any of them sort of quirks that you have that, that you tend to notice about yourself that we can really frustrate you. It's always interesting to read your guys' comments. And regardless of, um, regardless of whether, oh no, didn't mean to do that. Regardless of whether um, I reply or not straight away, I always read the comments. I, I, I do tend to try and um, I do tend to try and reply to all the comments I can, but it is difficult with as I've grown, I've got more comments and more comments. So I do tend to fall behind by a few days, but I always get to them eventually. I hope you guys enjoy regardless. I'll see you guys in the next one.